and I know a lot of business owners are like at the they're just of, closing down. Yeah. Oh, a lot of big business are bankrupt. They started, yeah, they started closing down. They're bankrupt. How am I paying her? How much am I paying for the shop? How much is the goods inside the shop? How much am I going to do? How will I, you know, you have to keep up. You know, this keep up everything. It's a fake I beg, life. I don't want to keep fake up. Fake life too, because, Messi, I don't leave her for you now. I don't do it again. I don't. <laughs> hey guys, how you all doing? I trust you all are having a fantastic day. So, guys, in this video, I will be talking about Messi, AK, your fave. I know most of you, a lot of you on this channel, you love her so much. So, Messi, AK, shared the story of her business, her online business, how she now runs an online business. She spoke about her struggles of running business in Nigeria. Guys, it's not easy, especially in Lagos. The taxes and tariffs are a lot. So, you get you get to know about her Lambo um um homes how far because she said people have been asking her and you get to hear what she has to say and also her m and m luxury she got a lot of praises for that so make sure you watch at the very end of it so you don't miss out on all that so apparently yeah she had an interview with a friend because this is like a chit chat it was a chit chat one and that was where she spoke about all this so let's start off with the introduction. Let's find out how many caps, how many hats she wears. Messi AK has a lot. She's into a lot of businesses. So this is um, an intro from her friend. Let's watch it. I want to introduce you. <laughs> how about you, baby? This introduction had <laughs> real estate mongo, entrepreneur, businesswoman, <laughs> influencer, uh, yeah. Messi AK. I don't want, no, she needs no introduction. Okay, guys, so let's talk about the very first part of it. Mess AK is a realtor. If you don't know, she, she owns her own Lambo home and she sells houses. Yeah, that work, should I call it a job or a career, guys? It's not an easy one. It's, it's easy. It seems easy from outside, guys. Do you know what it is to speak to people and convince them to bring out a huge amount of money, their hard earned money to buy a property? it's not easy and mess ak spoke about it she also spoke about the 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 factor of being a female in this business that a lot of men don't believe that females can make sales and also sell their properties for them they would rather go to the to their male count, counterpart that's the they would rather meet a male than a female to do that and messi spoke about how she had to convince people that that's where the problem lies convincing people and the frustration that comes with the business you might show um someone 10 listing you might have 10 listing at the end of it no sales it might take a very long time for you to make sales and also she spoke on the discrimination that comes with the business because she's a female you have to also convince men a man that oh please i can do it don't look at my gender the whole gender bias that is in this business and the feeling that they have that oh, only men can do it better this business is not meant for females and all that she spoke about that and also more and also she added that um at some point she had partnership lambo house partnership and a bit lambo home partnership and she felt like that was going to make life be life easier for her but no at some point she had to re-strategize and she said she, she took a step back and she had to re-strategize re because things were not working out for her the way she expected let's see what she has to say what real estate right because yeah. i know you're into real estate mm -hmm. i do a bit of that so i kind of understand how hard it mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. knowing that it's dominated by the male you know folks yeah. and you know being a beautiful girl mm -hmm. you know a body and then coming into that space also having a business mm -hmm. i feel like sometimes these people don't really take us seriously mm -hmm. how do you how do you balance it because i know it's hard hmm. i think real estate is the most hardest thing to do like you know it's not easy to convince people to like buy this from you mm -hmm. and the way this our econo economy has been up and down not up and down this our economy has been down forever yeah so it's not easy and going into real estate i had this mindset oh i'm going to make it big this is where the money lies but mm -hmm. when you get into it you see that it's not that straightforward it's not that straightforward you could view like 10 houses and you won't be able to sell one. So it's more difficult that people say, but when you do sell one, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money yeah. that you could just chill for till you have to do it all over. And over. It's not easy to convince people to put their money into something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not easy. Yeah. Especially in an economy that's not, you know, working. Yeah, stable. 
okay you heard her it's not easy it's not easy she ought like i said she spoke about the whole discrimination part or oh, where you're coming from you're female oh why are you selling a house oh can we you know what let's also hear that part of it because she spoke more on that because this is her friend lillian i think at the end of it i'm going to tell you guys more about her channel where you can watch more of the whole stuff but right now please stick with me let's watch this is the very end of it before you jet off yeah okay let's continue listening to what she has to say yeah but do you get that you know that discrimination of like you know where you're coming from like ah uh, this you know do you have that exactly yeah because when i have some um listing um some guys when they think oh is she really coming to sell this it's still boys are not convincing them that I can do this. There's mm -hmm. nothing there. If you can trust me, you know me. There's no way I'm going to disappear with your money. Mm -hmm. So, but I feel like they see, there's this, there's still this gap that they feel like the men are doing it better. I don't know the girls that are doing it. I don't know how they're doing it. Mm -hmm. Me, I've tried. I partnered with some people to do Lambo homes. And if you can, <laughs> I know you, people have been asking, oh, why is she not doing it? Why is she not doing it? And going into partnership with something you don't really know about, sometimes it's not worth it. So mm -hmm. um, I just took a step back to re-strategize. And then your business. Okay, you heard that. She had to take a step back to re-strategize for the Lambo home. I already spoke about that business is not easy being a realtor realtor is not easy convincing someone to cough out cough out a large sum of money to buy your property is not easy especially when the economy is not favorable people are focusing on how they will eat and and do other things buying property it's kind of not the first thing on a lot of people's mind convincing people to bring your money and buy property is not easy i'm sure you heard it from mercy and if you're worried about her lambo homes why is she not talking about it i'm pretty sure you heard from her so this interview it's not that old you know what i mean so i'm pretty sure you heard from her and hopefully she's going to update us more on what's going on with lambo homes she said she had to take a step back to real strategize so let's move on and talk about her um luxury her m and m luxury so this is a clothing line should i call it a clothing line or a boutique whichever one so she sells good quality fabrics this is not coming from me you're gonna hear her friend talk about it and she also spoke about what she noticed so someone was um speaking about the quality of her her um fabric of her clothes online and it made her feel so good and she said she started up this business just to help people to 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 sell to the average nigerians and she called it affordable luxury and it is luxury indeed according to her and she also said the reason why she kept the price at 12 to 15k as a then i don't know if the price has increased because things are increasing in nigeria things are only going up okay the reason why she kept the price at that at 15 to 12 to 15k was for people to be able to afford it that's that price is fair and if you're her fan and you've not um, patronized or patronized her, what are you waiting for? What are you doing? They said her, the quality of her clothes is very, very good. This is what they're saying. And she said the reason why the quality of her clothes is that good is because she wears it. She, the clothes, all you see Messi wear is it's part of her business. So she loves quality. And that's the reason why she had to sell quality to people. Let's hear what she has to say on that. Your a girl you know how to do business so please own it because this is your business you won't collect our money finish for this your clothes what's your happen oh you mean m and m love yes that's my baby that's something i know and you do it so effortlessly and then i think your I, I love your quality because one thing i've noticed about your brand is good quality yeah so, and i know how hard it is because 100 people can be selling the same thing mm -hmm the same thing mm -hmm. but the hundred people definitely don't have the same, same quality, quality. Yeah. so it's it's really like your quality top notch so yeah i think when you sell what you use that's that's the outcome of it i wear my clothes everybody mm -hmm. see that i i i wear what i sell when they see it on me i wear it's not like i'm selling it all to give to people like i saw one um, um tweet yesterday about someone that bought something since 2019 she posted it and she was like, I can't believe that this cloth is still like this with the glitters are still intact. And I saw it, I didn't say anything, but I felt really good about my brand yeah. and everything. It's not easy sorting 
the very best quality and you know how I said it's affordable luxury. Mm -hmm. So that mindset already and when I launched my business, I did it for the average people Nigerian in Nigeria. Nigerian girl, yeah, like, yeah. You know, selling something for 12,000 naira, 15,000 naira. And still be a bad and still, and still be, good. Yeah, it's not about making money from it but it's just, you know, doing what I like to do. I know one day it will pay off. Okay, you hear that? One day it will pay off. She's not doing it because of the money. Yeah, some people start off business not just because of the money. Fine. Obviously, they will be making money out of it, but it's not because of the money. Because if they are chasing money, they would want to do they would rather do something more expensive, something that would give them more um profit than just little profit. So I'm not gonna say she's lying here. I know some people will be so quick to say, Oh, how can you say you start a business not because of the money? Some people are like that because of passion. Because they love something, they do the business to get. And because they want to um, share with people their experience with whatever they are doing. It could be their fashion and all that. Whatever they have, they they do that business to get. And you heard that she said the average Nigerians, the everyday regular girls, that th that was her target market and it's still her target market. And I think it's working out for her. And it's the way people spoke about the quality of her fabric. That is quality matters when you have a business so let's talk about the struggles of running business in nigeria she spoke about how she had to move to online business even her friend spoke about it it was even advising her to move to online she spoke about custom charges it's a lot tariffs on electricity it's a lot how then do you come up with the bills to pay your staff if all these things are a lot spoke about paying seven million service charge for a store how much are you making in a month then spoke about um the the um thought of um closing down her store um fewer sales when you have and uh, the working stores and all that hike in custom prices and charges you might go to the they give you this bill you come back the next week the bill has increased and uh, my friend spoke about the the, ment the mental torture and rising production. There's a lot of struggle when it comes to selling um, goods or being a business owner in Lagos. Let's hear all this from the horse's mouth. Messi, talking about business, Messi, I'm, I'm going crazy. I said no one do it again. Messi, see, I, I woke up this morning, Messi, I was crying. <laughs> I was wailing. I woke up this morning. <laughs> Messi, I was crying like a child. It's not easy. Messi, I was crying like a child. Messi, to bring in goods now. Messi. I see, I'm telling my friends that if I had known, I wouldn't have rushed into business. I would have just um, taken my time, enjoyed this whole thing before. No, the... but guess what? It's just that like, no, you can't we're quit. not so close. Do you know I, you know I closed my, I closed down my store? I used to have I'm a store. I'm on the verge of... <laughs> Messi, you don't need a store. I'm doing my business. See, first of all, I had a store. When I started my business, I did busy. I opened store, you know? You know Lily's secret, just walking. Yeah. Messi, in, in a week... If people walk in, maybe like two. Yeah. I was making money online to pay my rent. Yeah. And my That's rent what I'm was doing. ridiculous. That's what I'm doing. So I'm See, guys, say, I get her point here. Um, these days, especially at this um, current age we are in, in Nigeria, people are now more comfortable buying things online compared to before. Before, it was so hard to convince a Nigerian to buy something online. So now people can easily bring out your card to buy things online. So if you're faced with a challenge of having a physical store, it's easier for you to go online to open a store in nigeria online business is the way forward in nigeria if you're struggling with um having a physical store but i know it's not all stores or businesses sorry you can have you can just have only online presence some businesses require work in you know, people need to come in and see what they are buying before they buy it and not everyone is comfortable buying out um, clothing outfits online so we want to try it on those sizes don't work for everybody even if it, they might say it's 42 people have different leg leg shapes and whatever the toes the front and all that you know some shoes the front part is curved like there's a lot so some people, some people would rather have a, walk into a store and buy something but you have to also weigh your pro, your pros and cons to see which one favors you the most if you have a and and if it's cool store how many people do come in and then if you have an online business an online store how many how many sales do you make and let me tell you they have a lot of platforms where you can do that the biggest problem with online business is um online business in nigeria is getting the traffic getting the people 
to get you can they have platforms you can use your facebook you can use your instagram you can use your uh, i don't know how twitter works how people sell on twitter people do that if you have large following and you can also build a website and start up your start up start up your business for well for website i know some people like oh my god i don't know i'm not that techy it's not that hard it's not coding i do coding but not 100 percent. it's not coding to get wordpress is so easy you can learn it within hours just go on youtube and look for wordpress um um, videos you can build your own website you don't need anyone to build that website for you it's easier for you even running a wordpress website so you can constantly update you have plugins that can help you out on that to get so with that wordpress website you can put your store your, your businesses or your um your products online and start looking for customers to come sell so don't feel frustrated you hear how you 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 heard okay i'll play more there's a lot of frustration when it comes to owning the business in in nigeria don't let the fact that oh they have a lot of service charges and all that make you close on your store no consider going online let's keep listening i'm thinking Any service charge paying over seven million the people that are buying from this. me over oh, reporter because they're not in lagos and then i'm you're charging me my <laughs> service charge is like almost two million where i want to say how much business they make how much is your whole business i think worth? every business owner in this lagos knows this thing see in case you see me no lambo home this thing working please don't blame me the economy is too bad then you can't even order things from <laughs> is you it see, the i was trying to see. order i was trying to order some new my new collection i was crying i cannot afford it and the more you keep the more maybe when they give you oh you have to pay 1.5 million to clear it and you'll be like this shipping is pay. more than the money see, i used yes, to buy yes, that and, and you'll be like see that moment they're wasting go and check that thing again it's already 1.6 as you're See, I was crying. I'm like, what kind of country is that? You've given me the bill already. Why is it increasing? Each time I go to, I just have to pay because it's not easy. You Let's see all these business owners. I feel like if we that do business in Nigeria, I feel like the fact that we are thriving, we can walk anywhere in the world because it is not easy. It's not easy. It's not. Okay, you heard her. Mercy spoke about custom charges and all that. You can decide to um, source your product in Nigeria. I believe they have local manufacturers. It's not even easy with the local manufacturers because at some point in this video, you, you would hear Lillian talk about um, the hike in production. Tailors are hiking their prices. Fabrics are expensive to get. It's just not easy for business owners in Nigeria. It's hard. It's really hard. But that does not mean that you should pack up, close your store and then fold your arms and do nothing no you still just find a way around it if you know your your business dependent of your business de depends or depended heavily on imported goods maybe you should consider mixing it up with local goods that have good quality nigerians have good quality products good quality fabrics you don't necessarily need to import everything you just have to do market research you have to research and find those manufacturers that give you that would give you quality at an affordable price regardless of the current economic challenges in nigeria let's keep listening in mental torture and then you see i'm telling a customer i was telling a customer today that the price so there's this um my best seller i sell mm -hmm. it for 25k mm -hmm. so today i was telling her that it's 30k mm -hmm. <laughs> so this one was writing long message for me i said madam you see i was almost crying for you i said madam I it well, you want me to right keep now. selling something for 25k in this hard time mm -hmm. dollar is almost a thousand naira madam Madam, it's not possible. Fabrics have increased. Production is increasing. Everything is increasing. Tailors are not, they're not playing. Are you not going to pay your workers? Like, Salary, everything. Light, light, the tariff is too high. Like, I feel like, in fact, at this point, just that I don't know. I don't know how to just quit. If not, I want to like close down this shop. Because I'm still funding the shop. I'm not getting anything from this shop. My sister, I'm, I'm you know, make money I, I get from the place, I'm putting into my shop. Let so me give you the advice I am doing. <laughs> if you want to take my advice from a body to a body, mm -hmm. I'm telling you what I did and it's working for me. Auntie, nobody, you're not in competition with anybody. Mm -hmm. Close down your shop. Use your BQ in your house. Turn it to your store. Your sales rep comes there and do, does your account and do your freaking delivery online. Online. That's a good advice. You don't even need to own a, a, big, a big queue, a boys' quarters. You don't need to own that. If you have, even in your room, just buy a rack. I don't know how big your your, your business, your whatever it is, if, you're, if it's a clothing business or whatever it is. Just look for a corner in your house. Start from there. Start from there. 
if you consider owning a website it's not hard like i said go on youtube you would see videos that would teach you how to build a website from the beginning to the end of it it's so easy building i've built a couple of wordpress websites and i run some website it's so easy building website wordpress website just if you put your mind in it you're going to learn it give yourself three days but it's just going to take a few hours depending on how fast you learn you get and you just look for um affordable hosting com um companies they have um okay i've worked with a, a couple they have name chip they have bluehost do you get i don't think you're going to spend up to um a hundred thousand because they're affordable do you get and then you, then you have to just get a domain name then you download the wordpress and start from there it's as easy as that if you don't if you think if you think you can't do this you might look for someone that will do it for you and pay that money do you get and focus on your instagram about the working customers auntie how many working customers do you get in the week calculate it and calculate your online customers oh, you sorry. do the maths you're good yeah if you will lose 10 working customers and get 100 on online, customers online, online. come on girl yeah. what are we talking about and guess what people adjust eventually a lot of people that were saying oh i like to try my clothes <laughs> when they got it so i said you know what? i gave them a size chart i mm -hmm. said this is my size chart. chart look at it you will know your pick your size you'll be fine it's it's, <laughs> it's it works my size chart is equivalent yeah, to your, to your size. size look at it i had to build my own size chart i said yeah. yes look at it you'll be fine okay. because see yeah Messi, I'm not in competition with anyone. I I'm cannot telling you, no. kill myself Self. to please anybody. I cannot. I am sorry. Friend. I really can't. Oh. Because it's it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. See, yeah. I go, go, no, go, then go. no. See, when see, uh, see, people will watch this this episode and they'll like, relate. Ah, thank you. People. And I know a lot of business owners are like at the verge of, of closing down. Yeah. Or, a lot of big business are bankrupt. They started, yeah, they started closing down. They're bankrupt. How am I paying? How much am I paying for the shop? How much is the goods inside the shop? How much am I going to do? How will I? You know, you have to keep up. You know, this keep up everything. This is a fake I beg, life. I don't want to keep fake up. Fake life too. Because, Messi, I don't live up for you now. I don't do it good. I don't go by the... <laughs> See, I can't tell my body is tired. <laughs> I know they be a body girl. I'm, I'm not, tired. Yeah, no, no, I'm not doing it. I can't. I can't afford this mm. life. I can't. Mm. It's too much for me. Messi, I don't know. Okay, I hope we all learned from this um this bit this video. If you're a business owner or you're looking to start business in Nigeria, these are a few challenges they they just discussed. So you just have to brace up yourself and get ready for what is coming ahead or what you have ahead of you there is more to come these are just a few ones they've discussed but regardless uh, regardless you shouldn't let this deter you don't let this hinder you from being a business owner from starting a business like i said you can easily go online online business in nigeria is easy to run not 100 percent easy but it's something you can do you can start with your instagram the one of instagram is so easy people do that a lot you have to look for the customers even when you have a physical store you also have to look for customers you have to run ads running ads is important when you're doing business you need to put your your product your business out there in people's faces to see creating brand awareness is also important anyways guys this is it i hope you guys learned one or two from your fave lambo and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and bye